find content about park travel as well as living a healthy lifestyle. If you're interested in those sorts of things, I would invite you to subscribe. My name is Kay and this is the Healthy Lifestyle Show. On this show, I want to offer you encouragement to live the life you love. This is Workout Wednesday and today I have a guest. My guest today is Dr. Cliff Reiser. Cliff began his career at Lock Haven University specializing in sports med medicine and athletic training. In 1993, he became certified as a strength and conditioning specialist. He received his master's degree in physical therapy in 2001 from the University of Miami School of Medicine and began working as an orthopedic physical therapist and athletic trainer with five high schools in Pennsylvania. In 2005, he returned to South Florida. His areas of specialization include spine shoulder rehab, uh, sports rehabilitation, and geriatric rehabilitation rehabilitation. I know I shouldn't have tried to say that. Sorry about that. In Cliff's off hours, which there aren't very many, let me tell you, he enjoys hiking, weightlifting, and spending time with his lovely wife. Dr. Cliff, it is awesome to have you here with us today. Thank you for coming. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed your video content, <laughs> but I understand completely. You are a busy, busy man. Yes, I saw 20 patients today, so. 20. This is my off season. I'm supposed to be slow, but something has happened that snowbirds have decided they want to be here all year instead of just in the winter. Even with hurricanes and travel. Even with hurricanes, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> so I have my cans. Okay. How, how are you going to torture me today? Ah, today, we're going to do a workout that I've noticed a lot of people want to improve their posture. Oh, yes. Because it's an issue that a lot of us have with, you know, cell phones and being on the computer all day that we should be here and most people are more kind of here. Yes. Which causes a lot of neck pain and back pain. And when most people go to the gym and they do workouts or they decide they're going to do some stuff at home, they work all these sexy muscles up here that they can see, right? Their arms and their chest and their abs. Yeah. But we kind of forget all of these guys back here behind us. Yes. So okay. we're going to do a workout that focuses on both the upper back and the lower back a little bit okay. to, to strengthen those muscles. And at the same time, we're going to use a fairly lightweight okay. um, dumbbells, maybe five to 10 pounds at the most. I'm going to use five pound dumbbells. Okay. I got my and if I were doing, if, if I were doing some big back exercises, I would use between a hundred and 300 pounds. So that gives wow. you some reference. Okay. That most people, you could even do these exercises if you're starting with no weights at all. You can just okay. move your hands in the same directions that we are and you'll still get a workout. After round mm -hmm. one, I may be going with the no weights at all. <laughs> Uh, there you go. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to do two rounds of about a minute of each exercise. Okay. The first time through, we're going to do the, the easy version. And the second time through, I'll do the harder version. But if the easy version was hard for you, then stick with the easy version. Totally makes sense. Okay. And there's always the, the super advanced version, but we'll leave that for a different day. Yeah, we'll make Inspired John. We don't need the super advanced version at this point. Do this they involve a forklift? Well, they could involve a forklift, but that's... That's uh, that's not our realm. Exactly. <laughs> so go ahead and grab your weights or your cans or your water bottles. Water bottles and, would work well, too, yes. Got I it. have... I have this sexy chrome dumbbell here. Ooh, um, fancy. Yes. And I'm going to start my timer here. You can't see it from your angle, but okay. we're going to do one minute. And the first exercise is going to be a row. Okay. So I like in one hand, one hand oh, row. Okay. Because then the second minute will switch hands. Just, okay. Ah, so take a, a split stance here. Okay. And support, support yourself like this. Hold okay. here. And then we pull up kind of like we're starting a lawnmower almost, right? Okay. 
And the, and then, the good thing about this is you don't have to count any numbers. I don't like counting. That's why I do a timer for mine too. Yeah. So that's good. And today we can type in the chat, ripped like Dr. Cliff <laughs> instead of ripped like hey, because that's much more fun, right? That's much more fun. I... And they got to remember not to put the period after doctor. Oh, yeah, that'll throw the whole thing off. Yeah, it definitely will. Definitely will. So um, do you mostly work with um, snowbirds then? Uh, in season, like in January, February. Oh, that's one minute. Woohoo! Go ahead. Okay. So and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now, you'll see my body's bent to maybe 45 degrees here. And okay. I'm resting my hand on my other leg. Gotcha. Support for the beginner version. Beginner version. Uh-oh. For the for the secondary version, we're not going to rest our, our hand on the leg. Oh. So your lower back will have to do more work to support yourself. Okay. That makes sense. I'm going too fast again. Christine gets mad at me. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Slow and controlled. Slow. All right, we have about 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. And then we're going to go to the second exercise. You'll need both dumbbells for that one. So okay. Where it's somewhere nearby. Yes, somewhere. It's over there. Okay. Can right. of pumpkin. Got it. You grab the second, second weight. Yep. You stand nice and straight. Okay. And you're gonna pull your shoulders up towards your ears. Okay. And then come back down. This is just a basic shrug. Okay. Some people make circles and stuff. That can be a problem for your neck. So you just wanna go straight up and down. Okay. That's easy enough. This one's easy, yes. Works a lot of muscles in your upper, upper back and around your neck. Every now, a lot of people, they use those muscles too much all day long already, but they use them improperly. So this is just reminding them how they should be working. Okay. So improper use would be looking down at your phone and your computer keyboard? Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So, um, yes, I'm trying to think. Oh, I wanted to tell everybody that you are the king of the pu push-up challenge. Ah, okay. yeah. And um, I understand that your phone uh, lost all of your push-up challenges. Is that Thank true? And we're turning sideways. Okay, sideways. Here, we're going to bend about 45 degrees again. Okay. We have both dumbbells this time. Palms down. Okay. And you're going to go back behind a little bit like this. Okay. I hate and these. Come back to just straight down. Got it. This is one that's really always been hard for me because I've always, um, I've never been able to reach behind my back well. And so uh, those, those uh, exercises and those stretches in gym class where they made you hold your hands behind your back and stretch straight and nope, just isn't going to happen for my, for me. Uh, that's well, about as far as you go too far. As soon as you start going back, You'll feel it in like your middle back, and yeah. a lot of people will also feel it in their tricep. You know the the sure. big muscle on the bottom of your arm. Right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I this is yeah, this one's hard for me. I'm glad uh, I'm not holding my five pound weight. Standing back up. <sighs> okay. And then we're going to do what's called a a hang pull. You can let the weight kind of hang by your sides. Okay. Bend move a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to straighten the legs and pull the weight up like this. Oh. And then let it come back down. Okay. Oh. Now, we're starting to use the whole body together. Yeah. We're kind of warmed up a little bit from some of the beginning stuff. So you might notice that you're getting a little warmer. Yeah, I'm sweating a bit. You do remember I don't jump, right? Right, right, right. 
<laughs> Inspired John tried to get me to jump the one time that we had workout Wednesday together, and that was kind of kind of bad. <laughs> Christina keeps telling me I move too fast. This one I get to move fast on. This one you get to move fast. This one is encourages fast moving. It's almost like jumping without leaving the floor. See? That that I like. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. One more. Okay. All right. Now we're going to bend forward again a little. Bend forward. And turn the hands so that they're facing away from you. Okay. And then we're going to do a row again, but we're doing it from this position, so it's a reverse row. Okay. I get I'll it. I'll turn sideways this way so you can see it That's this way. Helpful. Okay. So coming up to like the bottom of my ribs with my cans, right? Exactly. Yeah. Just kind of, you're, you have that slight bend again, and you're pulling your elbows back behind you, like towards the corner of the wall, basically, like okay. almost towards the ceiling, except at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's good. I used to do these with deadlifts. So you do a deadlift first, and then do, well, I guess it was the other way, because I do them like that. You did a deadlift and then a row? And then a row, yeah. That was oh, yeah. one of those things that, one of those classes I went to once, they decided it was a good idea to do those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just following instructions, kind of like I'm doing now. It's all good. Oh, uh, one more. Good. Ah. Cool. This is the only exercise we do without the dumbbells. No dumbbells. I'm going to do this on my, my big mat table here because I have it and you can see me easier, but okay. the floor would be the easiest place to do this. Floor. Okay. okay. I'm just going to switch to you if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. There. People will see you better that way and they can't see me on the floor anyway. So There you go. We're doing a plank. There's a lot of variations. I'm going to do the easiest variation first where we're on our knees. Knees. And our forearms, like so. Okay. Pulling the stomach in. You don't want your back sagging. Okay. We just hang out here. Breathing. You don't want to hold your breath. You want to try to pull your belly button in, but you don't want to hold your breath. See, I can talk the whole time still. That's hard. The so back. I pull my up. abs in. I want to hold my breath. The, my demonstration, the bad thing is that I have my head turned to talk to you, and you don't want your neck all cranked one way or the other because that's not ideal for your neck. So you really want to be looking straight down. Okay, straight down. Got it. Okay. Oh, all right. I was like, well, we got to come up with something to talk about because dead air is not good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Is that yeah, the whole that, thing? That's that's the whole thing. One whole round. One I did round. It. Yay. Now in, in, in cubicle fitness mm -hmm. that I had my series before, they were about that long. So about right. five to ten minutes. Like that, that should take about eight, nine minutes to do. Right. But because workout Wednesday is a little bit longer. Yes. We're gonna do a second round. Okay. That will you can do the same exercises again that we just demonstrated, mm -hmm. or I'm going to do a slightly harder version of all of them if okay. we found any of those too easy. Okay. Or if well, you just want a better challenge, you know, bigger challenge, let me grab my dumbbells that I left way over here. Okay. Why don't I try to do the easier ones and you do the harder ones? That's that exactly. way people can follow along if they want. And they can do either version. Mm -hmm. That sounds excellent. Okay. Okay, so the first one is going to be the dumbbell row. Okay. Kay's going to do the supported on your leg. Yep, I got it. I'm going to do no support on my legs so that I have to pull the belly in and all the lower back here is helping out just as much as the upper back. Okay. So start with one arm. Yep. Here, here we, we go. go. Cool. So while we're doing this and not having to count, um, right. I, well, last January, you started on a keto-like diet. 
How did that go? And where are you at now, if you don't mind me asking? Ah, that's a good question. It, uh, it went almost too well initially. Like it was shocking how easy it was to stay on and how quickly I lost weight. Oh. To where between the beginning of January and the beginning of May, I lost 70 pounds. Wow. So I went from 275 to 205. That's amazing. Um, but at 205, I honestly felt a little weak. Oh, switch sides. Okay. It just, I don't know if it was because it was such a quick weight loss or if I was just so much lighter than what my body had gotten used to. Because for years and years, I was between about 210 and 220. Okay. So it is suddenly, and then what had happened was I was doing some strongman type competing and I intentionally was trying to gain some weight, but then I gained more than I meant to. I meant to maybe get to like 245, 250, and suddenly I was closing in on 300 pounds way quicker than I wanted to. And I thought, this is not healthy. Okay. So I made the change to the keto, and the weight just fell off so tremendously quick that it was a bit of a shock to me. Okay. Uh, that makes a big sense. That makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway. Okay. So um, next we're going to do, Kay's going to do shrugs. Remember just straight up and down. Yep. I'm going to do probably one of the harder exercises on the list of the modified. So okay. if you have shoulder problems, rotator cuff history, lots of neck pain, I don't know if I would try this one. Okay. If you are going to start without any weight, you can do so the straight up shrug with the weight is the easy version. Okay. The make a big Y without weight is the medium version. Okay. And I'm going to make the big Y with the weights, which is a lot harder. Okay. So you're super advanced version this time. Right. Okay. And I'm easy version. So you ready? Here yeah. we go. And I'll talk more about the keto. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. What I started doing, especially since I was increasing my hiking before we started getting into monsoon hurricane season every day, <laughs> right. is that on the weekends I was hiking, you know, between six and 16 miles every Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Yeah, you're getting great miles. In. I would eat pancakes and hash browns and a lot of carbs on the weekend. I would eat keto Monday through Friday and sometimes even Saturday. Gotcha. But then I would eat whatever I wanted on Sunday. I wouldn't go all crazy, but you know, I right. wouldn't eat like, I don't know, a whole pizza and a half gallon ice cream or something, but I would eat a good deal of carbs on Sunday. Well, pancakes, you had to have those. Well, I had to have pancakes. I didn't even cut out pancakes when I was losing all the weight. Really? Because I, I thought you I, did. I did. Uh, I did for like a month. I did for six weeks. I think. I think January and part of February. Okay. Oh, time to switch. Okay. So about six weeks, I cut out pancakes, but even then, I still had hash browns. That was the only somewhat carb thing that I had. Gotcha. Oh, now we're gonna do the swimmer one. That's a little tough for you. Oh yeah, the back. And there's no real advanced version of this. If you wanted to make it harder, you just add more weight, or you'd hold it at the top for a couple of seconds. That would make it harder, too. Oh, yeah, that would make it harder. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't so know. So, then what happened is I think I have a little bit of a carbohydrate sugar addiction because going off the plan once a week suddenly became all weekend and then suddenly became every day. Ah, okay. And uh, probably I started eating pretty much whatever I wanted around the 4th of July. Gotcha. 
and July and August, I uh, went from about 205 to about 225. Okay. So I gained about 20 pounds back, but then the beginning of September, like a couple, you know, three weeks ago now. Oh, time to switch. Okay. I, uh, I realized the weight was coming on a little quicker than I wanted. So I did an experiment where I just ate strict keto for a week mm -hmm. and I lost 10 of the 20 pounds. So I think a lot of it is just the extra carbs in my body are like a big sponge and they just hold a lot of water. Yeah. So some of that weight is just water weight. So my goal is probably to stay between 215 and 225 where my bot, as long as my feet are happy with my walking and running. Cool. I, I don't necessarily need to get to like 190 pounds. Right. So right. there's just a happy balance there. So sure. I plan on trying to go back to eating and I have so far eat keto like on the week during the work week and yeah. then eat a fairly low carb, but still have like pancakes and some potatoes and stuff. So closer to like maybe a hundred grams of carbs on the weekend and uh, like 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day during the work week. Gotcha. Because Matt, that seems to be Matt working. Says, I think that's more sustainable. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Matt's doing low carb right now. And his first goal was to stay under 100 carbs a day. Um, and now he's lessened it some. And he's seen some success. Um, you were doing the intermittent fasting. Have you gone back to eating several meals a day now? or? I'm eating. Uh, I'm still eating most of my food for breakfast like I was doing. Gotcha. And then because my wife eats dinner and I like to eat with her, I basically just have a little snack, usually like a half a cup of walnuts or something it, when she has dinner in the evening. Gotcha. So I'm eating a little bit at night, but not a whole lot. Okay. That makes sense. All right. All right. Now we're going to do our, our hang pulls, yeah. remember? Except I'm going to do full snatches. So instead of stopping here at like my chin, I'm going to go the whole way over my head. Oh, okay. Got it. So that's the difference. So okay. Kay's going to do this version. I'm going to do this version. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I was expecting a flip like for an overhead. Okay, that's, a, that's a clean. Oh, is that what that's called? That's a clean. And then this is a snatch where you go the whole way up. Those are the two lifts that they have in the Olympics. Ooh, okay, I should have known that then. I'm a big idiot. <laughs> I I don't sports ball, as my band kids used to say. <laughs> Why put it sports balling? <laughs> but this definitely is an exercise that uh, will get your heart rate up a little bit. Yes. Well, everybody will now know that this is recorded. And... <laughs> We're actually doing this on a Tuesday night. So my workout Wednesday is tomorrow. It may be uh, a slower workout Wednesday. We'll do stretches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, we're going to go back to the reverse row. Remember, we have our hands turned okay. the other way so our palms are up. And okay. then Kay's going to do the row. row. Yes. I'm going to do the row. And then when I come back down, add a curl in there. Mm. So I have to go slow. And it feels really funny to me because I never do curls. Really? Yep. That's my favorite exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So, yeah, Matt has been doing low carb, and I'm still doing my low saturated fat stuff. So. Oh. That has to be a challenge to mix together. I'm making two different dinners a lot of nights. However, <laughs> chicken works out well. And if I watch my calories throughout the day and my fat grams throughout the day, I can usually eat whatever he's eating. So tonight we're having um, buffalo chicken drummies on the grill. And then we just add the buffalo sauce afterward. Nice. And then um, I've been doing bacon, onion, Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love Brussels sprouts. I eat either Brussels sprouts or asparagus, and a lot of times both every day. Okay. That's like my, main, my main carbs probably come from 
Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and avocados. Oh, yes. We've got a little spoiled with avocados. I know they're easier to get in the whole country anymore, but I have patients that just bring them in off the tree. So that, that makes it easier yeah, that, to get I wonder if I would like avocados better if they were fresh, but I'm not an avocado fan. So The Florida ones are different, too. They're, they're, they're a slightly different consistency than the, than the Haas avocados. Okay. Well, I, it's a consistency thing for sure, so... Now we're going to do, you're going to do the plank. I'm going to do a plank. The easy version. I'm going to show three versions of the plank now. All right, I'm going to flip camera over to you because okay. nobody's camera. going to see me on the floor anyway. And I'll demonstrate the three different versions. We have okay. the. I'll plank, I promise. The beginner version that we did the first time around, right? We're on our knees and our forearms. Okay. We have the intermediate version where we're like, we're going to do a push up on our, on our hands and our feet. Okay. And then we have the advanced version where we use one dumbbell. One dumbbell. And we're going to, I'll try to demonstrate this before we start because they're definitely advanced. Okay. I'll you're watch you. Go ahead. You be on your feet and your hands, just like doing a push up. Then you're going to take your dumbbell. Uh huh. And you're going to reach underneath. <laughs> then you're going to bring it up like this. Yes, that definitely is advanced. This is the most advanced out of the exercises in our list. That's why it's at the end, so I'm not too tired afterwards. Right. Good plan there. <laughs> Ready for the filming, because that's, that's never good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's funny. So, All right. Now we're going to do, we did a minute planking before. Right. We're going to do 30 seconds and okay. then we'll take a break because I'm going to have to change sides to do this with the other arm. Sure. Sounds great. All right. Ready? All right. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. So I have to think of something to talk about. Well, oh, we yeah. We don't want 30 seconds of dead air. 30 seconds. And I don't expect you to have to talk the whole time. But if people will look down in the description below, they will definitely see Dr. Cliff's YouTube channel. Now, Dr. Cliff has a wonderful YouTube channel with lots of coffee and yogurt reviews, and I think some breakfast bar reviews, as well as my favorite cubicle fitnesses. Um, so please be sure to click on Dr. Cliff's link down below, and um, during the premiere, hopefully one of my fantastic moderators will put it in the, in the chat so that people can just head on over or if Dr. Cliff is in the chat with us, please just head on over to his channel. Make sure you subscribe so you can do some wonderful cubicle fitness and drink coffee at the same time. Oh, that's true. See? It's and hopefully I'll get some new videos out, but patients keep showing up like 14 hours a day, which makes it hard right. to... <laughs> those, those darn patients. <laughs> no, you know... I don't understand. They just keep coming to the door. They just keep showing up, huh? Well, oh. good for business. Ooh, I'm done. Whew. Wow. That was 28 minutes and 40 seconds from the beginning of the live show till now. Nice. That's, that's a good workout. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cliff, thank you so much. I have enjoyed getting to know you over the last, what, uh, nine, ten months now? It's mm -hmm. it's really been almost a year. Almost a year, because I think I did the uh, 30 days of protein bars was my first big thing, and I think that was the month of September last year. Last year, and so, yeah. I did, I did some stuff in the summer where I was kind of experimenting, like teaching, like, squats and bench press and stuff that were back in the summer awesome but the first consistent stuff i did was 30 days of protein bars and then 30 days of of healthy yogurts yogurts i caught you on yogurts last year yeah so october was yogurt which is where we're at now and so yeah i've known <laughs> you for a year now this is i mean it's been amazing getting to know you more and um you're, you're, he is our sunrise person for our Twitter 
uh, healthy lifestyle with some normal people <laughs> chat. <laughs> and uh, thanks for being one of the normal people in the chat and keeping um, keeping our uh, eyes on the sunshine every day. And um, anything that you would like to tell our viewers before you go? Uh, I just like to you know, encourage people to come over and check out my channel if you mm -hmm. haven't. Uh, if you have questions or, or things you'd like to see, you know, just leave me a message there. I have a whole bunch of ways, social media and even, you know, old school, like, you know, calling on the phone or whatever. You can get a hold of me pretty easily. I'm here pretty much all the time. Yes. And uh, I think that's it. Like, okay. I, I don't have any special words of wisdom. Life is a strange sport, so get stronger and get living. I love that. I love that. Well, if you'll hang out for just a second, I will close out the show. All right. Thank you all for being here today. I need you to do three awesome things for me. One, if you've enjoyed this workout, share it with someone else that you would like to work out with. Two, go over and make sure that you check out Dr. Cliff Reiser and um, go and tell him that you saw him on Happy Trails Hiking. That would be awesome. And three, go out and live the life you love today. And remember, you are not replaceable. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody.